The color red in 500 Days of Summer is not just a mere shade, it's a silent character, a narrative device. In the enchanting realm of film, color plays a pivotal role. It can set the tone, evoke emotions, and even tell a story that words sometimes fail to capture. Now imagine a color so potent, it weaves itself into the fabric of a narrative, becoming a silent yet powerful player in the storyline. That's the intriguing role of red in the much-loved film 500 Days of Summer. In the world of colors, red stands out bold and unapologetic. It's a hue that's often linked to intense emotions. Love and passion, desire and longing, all are cloaked in shades of red. But red isn't just about warmth and ardor. It also carries a cautionary undertone. It's the color of danger, of warning signs, of stop signals. It's a color that demands your attention, a color you can't ignore. In 500 Days of Summer, this vibrant hue takes on a life of its own. It's not just a random choice in the color palette, but a deliberate selection, a narrative device skillfully employed to enhance the storytelling. As you watch Tom and Summer's love story unfold, you'll notice a recurring theme, a thread of red that ties the scenes together, a silent character that adds depth and complexity to the narrative. This crimson thread is not just a visual element, it's a symbol, a metaphor, an echo of the emotions that the characters experience. It's passion and love, it's heartbreak and longing, it's warning and danger. It's a visual cue that tells you more about the story than words ever could. As we journey through the film, keep your eyes peeled for the color red. Its presence is no accident. It's a carefully woven thread that ties the narrative together, a silent character that speaks volumes. So let's dive deeper into the mesmerizing world of A 500 Days of Summer and explore the intriguing role of red in this beloved film. As Tom meets Summer on day one, watch out for the color red. Now you might be wondering why red? Well, it's the color of love, passion, and sometimes danger. It's no coincidence that when the two main characters first cross paths, the color red subtly makes its presence known. It's not glaringly obvious, not in your face, but it's there hinting at the passionate and tumultuous relationship that's about to unfold. It's like a gentle brushstroke on a canvas, adding depth and tone to the scene. It's a visual whisper, a secret between the director and the audience, hinting at the heartache and joy that's yet to come. It's as if the color red is setting the stage, silently weaving itself into the narrative and preparing us for the emotional roller coaster that is 500 Days of Summer. Even in their first interaction, the color red sets the tone for what's to come. Scene script. Day 31 presents a stark contrast with red taking a back seat. Picture Tom and Summer blissfully lost in the maze of Swedish design. The IKEA dates are a world away from the fiery red passion of their initial attraction. Yet this scene is no less significant. The absence of red is striking. It's like a blank canvas, a respite from the intensity of their whirlwind romance. Instead, we're immersed in a world of neutral tones and minimalist design. The color scheme signifies the normalcy and comfort of their relationship during this stage. Consider how the lack of red mirrors the simplicity and ease of their interactions, the playful banter, the shared laughter, the dreamy domesticity they enact in the showrooms. It's a refreshing change of pace from their passionate beginning. The absence of red allows for a sense of calm and stability to seep into their relationship. But here's the catch. The lack of red doesn't mean the absence of complexity. In fact, it subtly hints at an underlying tension. The IKEA dates are a comfortable illusion, a perfect picture devoid of the fiery, messy reality of love. Remember, red is also the color of danger, of caution. Its absence might be a warning sign, an indication of what's missing in their relationship. The comfort and normalcy while soothing might also be a facade hiding the lack of depth and intensity. The IKEA dates, with their lack of red, are like a temporary sanctuary from the real world. It's a bubble that both Tom and Summer are happy to exist in, away from the challenges and realities of a serious relationship. But bubbles, as we know, are fragile and transient. In retrospect, the absence of red in these scenes may also foreshadow the impending storm. It's the calm before the storm, a momentary lapse in the red narrative that serves to heighten the impact of what's to come. Here, 
the lack of red creates a sense of calm before the storm. The IKEA dates, in their simplicity and normalcy, are but a temporary respite from the red threads that tie Tom and Summer's story together. And as we'll soon see, the storm is just around the corner. Day 290 drenches us in red, mirroring the heartbreak and pain. As we delve into this poignant scene, we see the color red elevated from a mere visual element to a narrator, portraying the intense emotions experienced by Tom. The end of a relationship is often turbulent, filled with a malish of emotions. In 500 Days of Summer, this emotional turmoil is beautifully depicted using the color red. It's not just about the end of a relationship, but also about the metamorphosis of Tom's character. And red is the catalyst that propels this transformation. As we dissect this scene, we witness the color red manifesting itself in various forms. It's the glaring red of the stop sign that halts Tom's world. It's the crimson hue of his heartache. It's the fiery red of his anger and disappointment. This vibrant hue becomes a visual representation of Tom's despair, his longing, his heartbreak. But the color red isn't just about representing the negative emotions. It also signifies the passion, the intensity, the love that was once there. It's a reminder of the past, of the beautiful moments shared, of the love that blossomed and then withered. It's a testament to the depth of their relationship, the highs and the lows, the love and the heartbreak. Look closer and you'll see red isn't just a color in this scene. It's a character, it's an emotion, it's a story. It's the silent narrator that weaves the tale of their love, their journey, their breakup. It's the underlying thread that ties the narrative together, providing a depth and dimension to the storytelling that words alone cannot achieve. As the scene unfolds, we see the color red taking on a life of its own, transforming from a mere color to a storyteller, a symbol, a beacon of emotions. It's the heartache, it's the passion, it's the end, it's the beginning. In the throes of heartbreak, the color red tells a story of its own. It's a story of love, of loss, of transformation. It's a story that transcends beyond the screen, resonating with each viewer, leaving a lasting impact. It's the story of 500 days of summer. Finally, on day 500, the color red takes on a new meaning. As the film draws to a close, Tom, our protagonist, encounters autumn, an embodiment of hope and new beginnings. And in this moment, the color red, which has been a constant companion throughout the movie, transforms in its symbolism. Throughout the film, red has been associated with summer, with love and passion, but also with heartbreak and despair. It has acted as a visual cue, a thread linking the various stages of Tom and Summer's relationship. But now, as we meet Autumn, we see the color red in a different light. Autumn is introduced wearing a red scarf, a vibrant splash of color that immediately catches our attention. But this red is not the same as Summer's. It is softer, warmer, full of promise. It is a red that symbolizes a fresh start and new possibilities for Tom. You see, in Up 500 Days of Summer, the color red is more than just a visual element. It is a narrative device, a way to communicate emotion and change. It is a tool used by the filmmakers to subtly guide the audience through the story, making us feel what the characters feel, understand their journeys. As Tom meets Autumn, the color red signifies his readiness to move on, to open his heart to love again. It is a beacon of hope, a sign that despite the pain and heartbreak he has endured, love can bloom again. This is the power of color in cinema. It can evoke emotions, tell stories, add layers of meaning to scenes. It can transform the way we perceive characters, their relationships, their journeys. And in 500 Days of Summer, the color red is a perfect example of this. With Autumn, the color red offers a new beginning, suggesting that love can bloom again. It's a subtle yet powerful testament to the resilience of the human heart, to our capacity to heal, to hope, to love. And that, dear viewers, is the hidden role of the color red in 500 Days of Summer. Looking back, it's clear that red weaves a story of its own. Throughout the narrative of 500 Days of Summer, this passionate color strategically emerges, marking key moments in the story like vivid bookmarks in a well-loved novel. From the initial meeting, the playful IKEA dates, to the heart-wrenching breakup, and finally, the hopeful resolution, the color red plays a pivotal role. 
It's not just a backdrop, but a silent character providing depth and emotional resonance to the film's narrative. It symbolizes love and passion, but also pain and heartbreak, adding a rich layer of complexity to the story. But most importantly, Red serves as a thread, intricately weaving together the film's key scenes and emotions, creating a tapestry of interconnected moments that make 500 Days of Summer a cinematic masterpiece. In 500 Days of Summer, the color red is more than a hue. It's a storyteller, a symbol, a silent character whispering its own tale of love and heartbreak. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the color red in 500 Days of Summer. It's been a fascinating exploration of how a simple hue can add depth and complexity to a film's narrative. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so do leave a comment if you'd like to see more videos exploring color symbolism in films. We believe that there's a whole rainbow of cinematic experiences to explore, and we'd love for you to come along on this journey with us. Until next time, keep exploring the colors of cinema, and remember, every color tells a story.